The beginnings of a storm, perhaps. The prospect of having to pull this massive fire truck over the course would fill most men with fear. And it's Denmark and Fleming Rasmussen, the first to get strapped into this big harness, which will take the strain to pull one of the heaviest objects ever seen in World's Strongest Man competition. Pulling lorries, cars, boats, and even an aeroplane once is a traditional event for a world final. And Rasmussen is well away. The secret is to stay low. He's well down the course now, and Rasmussen keeping in good form. The truck is really cruising along now. It weighs 40,000 kilograms. The front of the truck must go over the yellow line. 39.1 seconds, and that really is a cracking start to the final by the Dane. Marco Varilati up next, and we saw how good he was at this sort of event when he was pulling the cars in his heat. Rasmussen's time in the top left-hand corner. Well, the Finn is looking a little ragged here, not the same fluency as Fleming. That looks a little better, he's really driving those legs. His two coaches are screaming encouragement to him. He looks on target to go into the lead. The Finnish supporters are going to be very happy with this effort. 36.24, nearly three seconds better. There really are some big men there waiting to go, and Gary Taylor is next up. Eric Badenhorst goes after the Welshman. Now, Gary Taylor not renowned for pulling great beasts like this one, but he's really fired up for this first event and he's got away to a good start. Looks as though he's wearing javelin boots to get extra grip. He's got some way to go, but he's giving this one everything. Gary Taylor, 20 odd stones of solid muscle. He's got to keep low now. 36.3 seconds, six one hundredths outside the lead, which is still Varilatis. Eric Badenhorst striding to the start. Well, truck pulling, you know, favours the heavier men. Um, it's something I've really worked hard all year. I couldn't anymore. Ready. The strong hands of the South Africa. Now, Eric Badenhorst is heavier than Gary. And like Taylor, he's very mobile, so I think we can expect a fast time. It looks slow, but it's a very smooth pickup by Herod. He's going well. He certainly is going well. Look at this. He's absolutely steaming down the course, almost getting faster at the finish. He's keeping a perfect straight line. The fastest so far, 33.26 seconds. That is phenomenal. Smooth, straight, and rhythmical. That is a lesson for all the rest. I don't know what the other guy's going to do, but three seconds better than Gary's time. I don't think it's too bad. Well, Heinz Erlesch will be up next, starting his campaign to become the world's strongest man. Ready? Hit the strain. He really did take the strain there, well before the off, just to make sure there was plenty of tension on the rope. The big German, though, moving well. This is fast, there's no doubt about that. Gary Taylor's going to be watching this time carefully. There's only about five metres to go, and he's not slowing. 34.64, he's in second place ahead of Gary Taylor. Congratulations, second Thanks. place so far. Was that a surprise? Good start. <laughs> but there are three to go, and but I think it's okay. Ready. Wayne Price, the first of those Ready. three. That's a very long pull to start with. He must have been taking tips from fellow South African Herod Bardenhorst. Price looking tiny against the bulk of the engine. Every inch a muscle man, as well as a strong man, and he needs to be to get 70,000 pounds of steel moving fast. It's not going to win, but how close to the top three can he get? 37.2, in fact, he's in sixth place. Maybe five engines of bomb is it for sure. 
He's not kidding, as Magnus Vad Magnussen will soon find out in defense of his title. One thing is for sure, Magnus' preparation for this competition will have been absolutely immaculate down to the finest detail. Climbing boots once again. Can they help him propel him to the fastest time? Herit hopes not because he's still in the lead. But this is a great show by Magnus and it's going to be very close. 34.37 seconds, he's in second place and Big Hines is shunted down to third. The final competitor in the first of our eight events, the massive Joe Onasai. Well, you heard Joe at the start. If he does well in this event, he thinks he can win the whole competition. He's really pouring it on. The cooler conditions will be to Joe's liking. He doesn't like the heat. Now, come on, Joe, a big effort, but I think he's going to be outside Herit's time. I'm struggling now. I don't think, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think Herod is dead right, and Joe is struggling badly, starved of oxygen, and he's had enough. Oh, steady on, Joe. Jim Pollock trying to hold him up, and that's not easy. A little concerned, perhaps. But he's OK, but he'll be very disappointed. Congratulations on your first Thank win. You. A big South African smile for oh, us. Yes. Well oh, done. Yes. South Africa. <laughs> Thank you. So Herrit Badenhorst gets off to a flying start and lies top of the table. Welshman Gary Taylor is fifth, but Joe Onasai, so confident of winning at the start, comes in last. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.